Hi folks, welcome to chapter 18. Today we're going to be using the fixture you see in front of you to make a batch of these parts. It's a part made out of 6061 T6 aluminum and uh, basically I profile the top and the bottom and then I spot drill, pilot drill, and then um, this top hole here has a uh, relief in it if you see and then the bottom hole is drilled out for the for a specific diameter that mates to a motor shaft. Um, this fixture was from an old mill and so I'm actually only able to use the inside six out of the eight of them for now. Um, this is not ideal. I know someone's going to tell me you shouldn't use a fixture like this span between two vices but hey guess what it's my mill and it works. Um, at some point I will need to remachine the fixture out of steel. I made it out of aluminum at the time because it was an experiment and it works just fine for these parts So, and I need to get some of these made. Um, these are knockoffs from ENCO uh, made by a company called Gibraltar, but they're knockoff of the Mighty Bite style. They work great. So let's uh, get some stock ready and take a look. Using my 5x6 bandsaw here with the stop gauge to quickly cut six pieces of stock from a long bar of uh, half inch square stock. I've got it supported on the back side there. It makes it a little easier to work with. So I'm going to rip six of these real quick and be right back. All right, very important to make sure your fixture is clean of any debris. And then what I'll do is I'll line these up in here and I'll just show you with one. All you need to do, I happen to know that I just leave a hair of stock on the rear side of the negative Y and got the wrong tool. What you do is this is a cam style lock and that oops, locks that part in there nice and solid and I'll do the rest these six and be right back. <clears throat> All right here we go I've uh, already got my fixture zeroed we're not going to cover that type of stuff anymore you guys should know uh, what we're talking about there. And in the next chapter, I'm going to go over all the cam details. So for this uh, chapter, just enjoy the machining. So every hole, um, all 12 holes are going to get pilot drilled with a 1 8 inch, 1 8 inch twist drill. It's on a deep drilling cycle where it retracts to the Z plane to break the chip. Okay, pilot drilling is almost done. start doing our 2D contouring. I'm using half an inch depth of cut but only 60 thou width of cut on a two flute carbide end mill which I happen to love in aluminum. It works really well.
top of the part. And after it finishes this one, it's going to come and do a, a full pass along the back side of the part, which gives me the dimensional accuracy I need, um, which is great, a very efficient way of cutting from rough stock using it in a fixture like this. Once again, it's going uh, half the depth, quarter inch, or excuse me, yeah, quarter, uh, quarter inch depth um, with a uh, about a 60 thou width of cut. This is a little bit of a heavier cut, but it's okay. come back and finish off the bottom half. Alright, now using a number seven drill, excuse me, number three drill, uh, I made it to number seven, which is probably a mistake, uh, to prep for the tap. And next I've got a quarter inch drill which comes through in a single pass and it drills that relief clearance for every hole. Next up is tapping. Um, and for any fixture, I have to say, um, I really love the power draw bar on my Tormont, especially with the uh, foot pedal. It makes tool changes a breeze. Um, and, and it really helps your cycle times. So now we're doing a quarter 28 tap. This is a spiral flute tap. There's something mesmerizing about watching automated tapping like this. Finally, I'm using a letter B drill to drill out the uh, axle hole, which is a correct clearance for the customer spec. Using a fast pack cycle here, which doesn't do a full retract, but rather a quick retract. And with that, I'm out of time for this video, but stay tuned in the next chapter. I'll cover all the cam details behind this process. Thanks, folks.